Hello students, in this video we will try to understand the concept of essential drugs. Now this video is the fourth part in the series of videos on general pharmacology. Now as we all know, drug is a chemical substance that treats diseases and improves our health. Now there are thousands of drugs available in the market of which around 30% are essential drugs and 70% are non-essential drugs. Now, essential drugs are the drugs that treat majority of diseases and are available at an affordable price. Whereas, non-essential drugs are the higher priced alternative of the essential drugs without any additional therapeutic advantage. And these non-essential drugs include costly brands and alternatives like costly congeners or drugs of the same category. Now the main concept behind essential drugs is to select a handful of cheaper medicines out of thousands available in the market that are equally or more efficacious and safe than the costly brands or alternative congeners available in the market. And uh, this improves availability of affordable medicines especially to low-income countries like India. And thus, essential drugs should be made available to every person at all the times in sufficient amount and at, and at an affordable price. Now, as per WHO, essential drugs are those drugs that satisfy healthcare need of majority of population. Now, uh, let's understand the criteria laid down for the selection of essential drugs. Now, the first and the most important is that the essential drug should be effective and safe. So, sufficient clinical data should be available on the efficacy and safety of the drug. Now, second criterion is with respect to the dosage form of essential drug. Now, dosage form is a form in which drug is available in the market, for example, as a tablet or a capsule or an injection. So, the dosage form should assure quality and stability of drug. Now, next criteria is how to select the essential drug. Now, selection of essential drug depends upon the prevalence of disease, that is, percentage of population with that disease at a specific period of time. Now, this depends upon the genetic, demographic, and environmental factors. Now, second is the availability of trained personnel to administer the drug. And the most important are the financial resources to get the drug. Now, among similar drugs, as we have seen with respect to omeprazole, that is various alternatives of omeprazole are available. For example, rabiprazole, pandaprazole. Now, a molecular drug is selected with better efficacy, safety, quality, price and availability. Now, the molecule or the drug selected should have a better pharmacokinetic profile. That, it, that means it should have a better ADME. It should have a better administration, distribution, metabolism and excretion qualities. Uh, apart from this, there should also be availability of local manufacturers to manufacture the drug and to store the drug. Now, preferably, the essential drug should be a single compound. Now, fixed dose combinations of two or more than two drugs are selected only if the combination is superior in terms of efficacy, safety and in decreasing emergence of drug resistance. Now, very important to understand that selection of essential drugs is not a one-time process. It is a continuous process and it uh, gives consideration to the epidemiology that is uh, incidence, uh, distribution and control of disease in a particular area and availability of better medications, availability of better formulations uh, because of progress in the pharmaceutical technology and research. So this is in brief on the concept of essential drugs and the criteria that are laid down for the selection of essential drugs. Now, very important, information provided in this video is meant exclusively for the students from their examination point of view. Now, if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video.
Thanks for watching this video.